Hi everybody, Planet Walls here. We are back for round four. Unfortunately, the last two rounds after my buy were both losses. Um, we were playing against Thorm, or Thormy now, who's playing another bizarre workshop version, one that I'm not necessarily tuned to beat. Um, it's got Platinum Angels and expensive stuff, a Triskelion. So there's some scary stuff, two Worm Coils. Um, and then it runs all these cards to accelerate them really quickly, including three Memory Jars, Staff of Nin. Um, so he's playing like a like a turbo combo version that's a little bit lighter on disruption and doesn't have the same prison elements. Um, <laughs> he says he didn't expect to face four hammer mage in two or three rounds. It's okay. My version of the deck is much worse. Um, all right, so we're gonna play first. And this affects his forge master actually. Um, but I don't think this hand is very good. I'll have to check again just to see. Um, True Believer, I don't believe, does anything to him. It prevents us from being targeted by, uh, Staff of Nin, which is pretty unexciting. Um, yeah, and, and I guess Triskelion. This thing searches for stuff, and he won't be able to do that, except for the top four cards. I don't know if Avon Mind Sensor is disruptive enough to uh, warrant keeping this hand. Though I guess the Lightning Bolts can kill... You know what? We're going to mold us. I think this is better. Um, though it isn't great. <laughs> All right. So, he's choosing whether to mull. I'm going to be thinking about this again. Um, he's not playing any Chalice of the Void. And he's not running... He's not running a lot of stuff, so... This Kataki is still good. Okay, he did mulligan. I guess that's good for us. The Lightning Bolt is good. He mulled again. Um, okay, and he keeps that one. So, the question is, do I lead off with Kataki when I'm just going to have to Mana Crypt it? I think that I wait for him for a turn. So I, I'm going to lead off with this planes and pass. I don't want to get wastelanded, even though there, I could want a lightning bolt something. So I'm holding off on the mana crypt. I might actually be able to ingot chew and keep my guy around. Hmm, chew and ingots. Okay, great. So he has a strip. That's fine. We'll let him do that. Let's just draw another land. Okay, that's nuts. Uh, we're we're gonna just dump that out there as soon as we can. Uh, now we want to find more lands again. So I guess he's just gonna not do anything. Okay, it's good that we won, and we did find a land. Um, I think I'm going to attack here. See no reason why not. And I'm going to drop Kataki. Um, I think this wants to name human still. Yeah. Or maybe cleric. You know what? Let's go ahead and name cleric so that way i can play a relic order if i draw it we're taking a lot of pain but um i think that's okay and again this is gonna either allow us to let the crypt die i'm not gonna let it die right away because we can ingot chew later maybe we'll just force a confession Though we don't have any clock on the board. We'll be paying for the mana crypt or the cavern, I think. 
And he still doesn't have any permanents on the board, so I guess this looks good for us. That seems fine. We're going to be taking pain for it, but it accelerates our clocks efficiently. Okay, so he has a land now, I guess. It's not a very exciting one. Cool, winning flips is good. Um, and we're going to pay for this again. Paid off last time. Okay, and this... Maybe we don't know what we want it to be just yet. But I think dropping it is probably smart. I guess you could combo off or something. Maybe I shouldn't attack with a heretic. Um, yeah, I'm actually not going to do that. I don't think he could do anything that quickly, but I'm kind of nervous he can. So... Yeah, we're passing this turn. I don't think I, I'm going to lose this one. This is our deck, obviously. Why did he keep his opener? Can he not play anything because he's afraid he's going to get heretic'd out? Or is he waiting to kill Kataki? I don't know what's going on. My guess is he got a Mistress Factory or something. Okay. I'm okay with that right now. Alright. Still makes me a little nervous. So what can you do for five? Key, huh? If you heard a beep, that's because my wife's food just got here. Okay, I'm going to think about whether I want to kill that monolith right now. Um, he could duplicate this turn. Should I be afraid of that? Or he could try Skelly in this turn. Should I be afraid of that? The things that I'm scared of. Um, so if I kill his monolith, I don't think he will easily be able to duplicate this turn. So I am going to do that right now. Okay, that's going to also be killed. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep this. Um, um, okay, so I was kind of hoping we would get something like that. I think the right play here is to... Let's see, is there anything that I'm missing? Uh, I think I think we want to go down to 9 and Relic Ward his Metal Worker. And attack him down to 5. Because this puts him in an almost dead position. Okay, so we took game 1. Um, he obviously had an extremely bad draw, but that also is 
supposed to be what happens with her deck. Now, these Stony Silences definitely come in. True Believer is better than it is normally, but it's still not very good. I think Linvala is actually good in this matchup. Um, what would we be cutting? Like, Lean and Arbiter is actually okay, too. I think the True Believers are pretty bad. Um, we could look at his deck and also at a sideboard. Like, Worm Coil probably comes in, maybe Ratchet Bombs? Probably Dismembers? So, I mean, these can counter a Metamorph, but that's not very exciting. We really need to cut two more cards here. Uh, the Linvala is not extraordinary. I might actually cut a Spirit Guide, because I'm not sure that Ramping is that awesome against him. Yeah, let's cut that. Or maybe we should keep the Spirit Guides, but cut the Lotus Petals because the Stony Silence, or do one of each. That's kind of how I feel like going about this. I'm not sure that that's right. Actually, you know what? The Jitte is probably better to cut. Because I don't think it does much. And also we boarded in the Stony Silences. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the game. All right, we're back in the game. Now this is an interesting hand. We got double Kataki, and I think that's good because I think he's going to dismember the first one. Um, we're going to go ahead and not mulligan this, even though we can't do anything on the first turn. But I'm okay with that. Also, I'm probably going to play the planes first, so this abolish. I'll have to wait till I draw another planes, or I just might never ever do anything with it. That's kind of scary. Um, he could just like beat us this turn, I guess. So maybe, maybe we're going to have to play the Stony Silence next turn. So if he just has a Voltaic, he could just win right here. That would be pretty bad for us. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess I should have played the Cavern first and then pitched this to the Abolish, and then I'd still be in this game. Um, yeah, I guess we just lost based on that decision. Um, all right, you learn something new every day. Um, felt like one of my lands would have gotten wasted. Yeah, I guess we would have hit more... Oh, man. So I could have had that game. I guess that I should have been a little smarter about that. But, you know, sometimes... I'll just tell him. Um, yeah, we're going to play first. How do I feel about this hand? I feel okay about this hand. Um, so if that happens again, I guess we lose, but, you know, such, such is life. So he's mulliganing again. Maybe he's going to try and win the same way. Um, so we're going to lead off with this, especially because we have an Arbiter. If we draw another fetch lane, we're going to want to crack it. I do want to see another land on my turn. Again, half the deck is mana sources of some kind, which means there are 28 of them left. So over half. We've got over a 50% chance of drawing one. This is a metal worker, I'm gonna lightning bolt it. And it's not. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this as is, unless I want a sacred foundry. I don't think I do, because I think I'm gonna wanna make this. Uh, I can't make it a basic planes. You know what? Let's go ahead and make this a sacred foundry. Drawing that wasn't the best, admittedly. Um, Lightning Bolt is only so-so against him. It's okay. It's not the worst. Now I hope our next card isn't a, uh, fetch land. That would be pretty irritating, because we wouldn't be able to cast the Heretic. Hmm. 
Okay. Please not a crucible? Okay, good. We can at least kill that. And we're gonna have to, like, now. Or do we swords it? Maybe we swords it? No, because we might want to swords a worm coil engine later. Um... It's too bad that we drew a mana source. We could have landed a heretic. But we gotta kill that to keep him from comboing off here. I really don't want him to play a crucible. That's why I want to land this heretic. That's not the end of the world. He could blow it up for zero and kill this. I take it that that's what he's thinking about doing. Okay, I'm going to unpause the recording when he comes back. And he did decide to blow the ratchet bomb for zero, which does affect me greatly. <laughs> so let's not draw a fetch land here. That would be pretty bad. Oh, I want to play that so bad. We would just win the game if I could cast that card. Um, okay. So, we just want to be able to cast Stony Silence. He's going to draw a card. That's okay. He took two to do that. He's only got two in hand, so his hand can't be that great. If we can just land this, then I think, like, the game is over. He just cracked his ratchet bomb to... I mean, not that that... That makes me nervous. Please don't play a time fault this turn. Okay, so a lot of mana, that's fine. Still counting on that too high number of lands I've got. Come on. Please. Okay, good. Um... Now, he didn't tap down my guy, which is funny. This does still leave him a uh, Worm Coil option, but we have a uh, Swords. Yeah, I think he's just going to draw a card here. Okay, so we cut down his mana, and none of these cards do anything. That was like a four for one, almost. Almost had kill switches instead of these. And I guess I'm glad I put this in. Though kill switch would have been a lot better in my first round. Okay, I'm going to unpause when he does something. Alright, so he passed the turn to me. Um, I feel like that's probably going to be game once I play the uh, heretic here.
Hmm. Okay, so effectively his ancient tomb is off now because he's going to be at virtual one with my lightning bolt, but I think I go ahead and cast this anyway. Funny part is, if he doesn't do anything, I think I just attack and then bolt him. I don't even use the ability. Hmm. Not sure what's going on. So I will see you guys in the next round.